Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Newsor Education. Um, continuing the course of advanced mathematics for high school students, it's presented on unizor.com. That's where I suggest you to watch this lecture from because there are notes. And uh, in this particular case, and well, as many other cases, especially when I'm presenting the problems, I do suggest you first to go to the website and try to solve the problem yourself. Regardless of whether you will succeed or not, only then um, uh, watch this lecture. So I'm going to present um, one of the so-called final problems on um, uh, solid geometry. Um, and the problem actually is very simple to state. And uh, quite frankly, I was surprised that this particular property actually exists. And that's what I'm going to prove, that this property exists. So again, it's something like unexpected, I would say, result if you didn't know about this before. Um, I can compare it to many other unexpected relationship in, in the world of uh, mathematics. Uh, like for instance, whenever I have learned about Pythagorean theorem, that the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of uh, uh, catchity, um, I mean, it's a surprising fact. If you don't know about this beforehand, and somebody tells you that this exists, well, you said, well, that's great, but it's unusual, I would say. So, this is also kind of unusual. Here is what it is. Um, we have a cone, uh, the right circular cone, we don't really consider any others. And there is a, a sphere which is inscribed in it, so it touches the uh, side surface and also the bottom of the uh, cone. And we have already discussed in one of the previous problems, which I have presented, that this particular uh, sphere has to have a center on an altitude um, from, from the apex of the cone. Um, and the line uh, of uh, tangency of the sphere and the cone's surface, side surface is actually a circle. So this is a circle on, this is the line of tangency. Now, and this is the diameter of the uh, sphere. So the problem is, given the ratio of side, sur uh, of, uh, uh, side surfaces, both uh, cone and, and the sphere, uh, in case of a cone, that includes the base. So given that, this ra ratio of their um, area, surface area, um, find the ratio of the volumes. Well, that again kind of a strange thing, because I didn't really say anything about the cone. Um, cone can be this way, or co cone can be that way. So basically the problem states to find this ratio regardless, which means it's supposed to be the same. So let's say you have this ratio of um, uh, surface area gamma between, um, let's say, the sphere and the cone. This is surface area of a sphere divided by surface area of a cone. So what would be the ratio of volume of a sphere divided by volume of the cone? Well, since I didn't really say anything about what's given, it's supposed to be, well, the same for any kind of a cone. So let's just assume that we have certain cone which has the radius r of the base. It has h as its altitude, its height. Um, now, obviously, that defines the cone. Now, if the cone is defined, then the sphere inside is also defined. We have to really find the radius. So this is the radius, let's call it lowercase r. And first of all, we have to find the radius to be able to compare volumes and, uh, and surface areas, etc. Now, this particular problem I have already solved in one of my two previous lectures, but let's just do it again. So what I do is I cut the whole thing by a plane which goes through uh, the altitude of the cone. Now, the cone will be cut by a triangle. That would be a triangle, right? 
and the surface uh, um, and um, the surface of a sphere would be cut by this plane and the result would be since it goes through a center result would be a circle and for obvious reason this circle is inscribed into a triangle so what do I know about the radius of the inscribed uh, uh, circle if you have dimensions R and H so this would be lowercase r, this would be lowercase r. Well, um, we can do it differently. Uh, we can find r, lowercase r differently. Um, in the previous case, I was talking about um, comparing the area of a triangle with area of three smaller triangles if you connect the center with um, vertices. Now let me just offer another solution. Uh, obviously, triangles S, P, A, B, O, uh, Q. Obviously, triangles S, P, B and S, O, Q are similar because both of them are right triangles. Now, this is an altitude of a isosceles triangle and this is a radius towards the point of tangency between the line and, and the circle. So these angles are right. And they have a common um, angle w w which they share. So they are uh, similar, which means we can use some proportionality. So what's the proportionality? Let's say compare the proportion between the hypotenuses. So hypotenuse 1 is SO another is SB and this is supposed to be um, compare it uh, with the same ratio would be between smaller casualty let's say lowercase r and capital case and capital R right now what is SO SO is H minus lowercase r right so H minus lowercase r and what is this hypotenuse, SB? SB is, this is H and this is R, so it's square root of H, R square plus H square. So I have this equation from which I can determine uh, lowercase r, and that would complete all the elements which I need to calculate the areas and, uh, and the volumes, right? So let's just multiply. So lowercase r square root of r square plus h square equals to h r minus uh, lowercase r r. So r goes here is equal to h r divided by that would be the plus. So r plus square root of r square plus h square which is exactly the same formula I had in the previous lecture but uh, derived differently using the area of the whole uh, triangle divided into three areas of these triangles this, this, and this where I have perimeter uh, multiplied by the radius and divided by two, the area alright, fine, so we've got that now, I don't need actually anything, please. And now I just have to go through calculations, which is kind of boring, but nevertheless, that really what's supposed to be done. So let's just compare um, uh, the uh, area surface um, of the sphere uh, with the area surface of a cone and then the volume because I have all the parameters H and R define everything lowercase r I have expressed in the terms of H and R and they can a, a H and R are completely unrelated to each other it can, it can be anything so basically that's it all right so let's just do the straight algebraic manipulations now the area of the sphere is what was the formula? Uh, 4 pi and radius square, right? Now this is the radius, so it's 
4 pi and square of this, which is h square r square divided by r plus square root of r square plus h square square. Okay, what is the surface area of the cone? Well, that's the base, right? Plus the side surface. Now the base is pi r square pi r square and the side surface is um, it's a perimeter times uh, this uh, generatrix divided by 2, right? I mean if I have a small triangle here it will be this times height and divided by 2. And if I will have a lot of small triangles, the height will be the same as generatrix, and some of these would be um, the uh, lengths of this circle. So it's 2 pi and divided by 2, right? So it's 2 pi r divided by 2 would be pi r. And uh, times generatrix, that's again square root of r square plus h square. So that's my formula. That's gamma. Well, let's simplify it. I can obviously uh, reduce by pi. I can obviously reduce by 1 r here, so this is r, this is r, and this is r. And what remains for h square r divided by r plus square root of r square plus h square. This is the second degree, and that would be another, so it's cube. So that's my formula for gamma. That's the ratio of surface areas. Well, now let's uh, compare the volumes and we'll see if we will get something which can be expressed in the terms of gamma. All right. Now, the volume of a sphere is 4 third uh, pi and the radius cube, which is this. So let me do it this way. Pi, h cube, r cube, and divided by r plus square root of r square plus h square cube. And divide by the volume of the cone, which is one third area of the uh, base times altitude. So it's one third pi r square h. Now, well, 3 and 1 thir and one third can be reduced. Pi and pi can be reduced. r square and r cube can be reduced. And h would be h square. And what do I have? Well, amazingly enough, it's exactly the same thing. So, as you see, the ratio of the volumes is exactly the same as the ratio of um, area of the surfaces between the inscribed into a cone a sphere and the cone itself. Well, again, I can only say that I'm surprised to see it, but whatever it is, it is. Um, I would prefer you basically do exactly the same calculations just by yourself. And that would be it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.